Kwa Ting Wen, a notable and experienced member of Singapore's women's swimming relay team, will not be competing in the Paris Olympics despite the team's historic qualification in February. This unexpected turn of events follows the rejection of an appeal by World Aquatics, Aqua, which leaves Kwa Ting Wen sidelined. Singapore Aquatics, SAQ, announced on July 8 that five swimmers will represent Singapore in the Paris Olympics, competing in a total of seven aquatics events. The swimmers set to compete are Jonathan Tan, 22, who will be participating in the men's 50-meter and 100-meter freestyle events, Letitia Sim, 21, who will be swimming in the women's 100-meter and 200-meter breaststroke events, Gan Qingwei, 20, who will take part in the women's 800-meter and 1-500m freestyle events, Lavinia Sim, 18, who will be part of the women's 4x100-meter medley relay, and Kwa Jing Wen, 23, who will also compete in the women's 4x100-meter medley relay. This lineup was finalized after Aqua, the global governing body for aquatics, confirmed the list of participants for the Olympics. Kwa Ting Wen, aged 31, was a key member of the relay team that made history at the World Aquatics Championships in Doha earlier this year. Alongside Kwa Jing Wen, Letitia Sim, and Lavinia Sim, she helped secure a spot in the women's 4x100 meter medley relay event for Singapore, marking the first time that Singapore had qualified for a women's relay event at the Olympics. The quartet not only qualified but also set a new national record in the process. However, Despite their successful qualification, the individual selection process for the Olympics became a stumbling block. SAQ clarified that the selection of individual athletes is primarily based on those who have met the Olympic qualifying time, OQT, known as the A-cut. Secondarily, it considers those who have met the Olympics consideration time, OCT, and received an invitation from Aqua to compete, known as the B-cut. Among the relay team, only Letitia Sim met the A-cut. This left three relay-only swimmers, but Aqua's regulations allow for a maximum of only two relay-only swimmers per team. Initially, there was hope when Aqua granted Singapore an extra relay-only slot on an exceptional basis on July 3. However, this slot was invalidated when Gan Qingwei accepted an OCT invitation on July 5, which meant that Singapore still had to adhere to the maximum of two relay-only swimmers. Consequently, the SAQ Selection Committee selected Letitia Sim, Gan Qingwei, Lavinia Sim, and Kwa Jing Wen for the relay team, excluding Kwa Ting Wen. In response to her exclusion, Kwa Ting Wen appealed the decision. However, the SAQ Appeals Committee upheld the original selection. Simultaneously, SAQ appealed to Aqua for an additional relay only slot, but this appeal was also unsuccessful, as confirmed on July 8. Expressing her disappointment, Kwa Ting Wen told Channel News Asia, CNA, that she felt confused and frustrated upon learning she was not on the list. This was particularly disheartening as she had recently signed documents from SAQ and the Singapore National Olympic Council, SNOC, confirming her participation in Paris. Had she competed, it would have been her fourth Olympic appearance. SAQ President Mark Che expressed empathy for Kwa Ting Wen, acknowledging her dedication and commitment to the Olympic campaign. He noted that it was unfortunate that the team was one individual OQT shy of earning direct entry. Che also emphasized that despite the setback, Singapore would still compete in seven events and urged supporters to rally behind the team of five athletes. He also highlighted Kwa Ting Wen's continued importance to Singapore's swimming future, mentioning upcoming events like the 2025 World Aquatics Championships and the SEA Games. That wraps up this detailed coverage. We would love to hear your thoughts on this situation. Do you think Kwa Ting Wen should have been included in the relay team? What are your predictions for the performance of the Singapore team at the Paris Olympics? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more updates and detailed news coverage. Provide your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth updates.